I'm going to read you another notable quotable that to me really stands out, okay? Sure. It says, the difference between great people and everyone else is that great people create their lives actively while everyone else is created by their lives, passively waiting to see where life takes them next, okay? Mm. Stay tuned here. Here we go. The difference between the two is living fully and just existing. That's from Michael Gerber, the guy who uh, wrote the E-Myth Revisited. Michael Gerber, okay? So what we're talking about is uh, he's this observation he had is that people who are truly great or who are having big success they look at their lives right now yeah and they look at it versus where they want to be and they're actively whacking away at like almost almost like a machete very aggressively if you're like in, if you're on like a, a jungle tour and you got the tour guide he's taking the machete and he's knocking away big old leaves and stuff to make room for you to walk through they're just knocking away going i'm tired of this not going to do that yeah. and they'll, they'll do it short term but they're actively pushing away and attacking and chopping away at the things that are eating their time and so for my life with the dj business i used to literally load in every single disc jockey i would load them in i would fix all of the equipment Wow. I would meet with every single bride. I would make the playlist for every single wedding and do all the sales calls. And then I had guys running around working for me who DJed. And I thought, man, I've got to hire somebody just to take that paper load, paperwork load off me. So I paid a guy, and that allowed me to do more sales. Yeah. And then I hired a guy to do the maintenance of equipment, and that allowed me to do more sales. Then I, I hired a guy, to, and I just kept doing that. At what point in, in your career did you realize that? Was it when you were burning out or when... You wanted to scale your, your, your business to a, a, a better place financially. Well, income-wise, if you don't have systems, you won't be able to grow. And so what happens is you get to a point where you're going, I can't possibly DJ more. I was literally DJing like six to seven days a week. Oh, my. So I, can't, I couldn't DJ anymore. I couldn't provide any more entertainment services. Personally, I was already booked out. So I'm going, well, is my income capped? Am I forever stuck? Or am I going to have to find a different solution? And I find that most people have no desire to scale their business or their income until they need to. Which is kind of sad. So don't don't wait there until the go. breakdown. But so if you own like a mechanic shop right now, let's make it the best mechanic shop in the world. Mm. And let's think about how can you begin delegating to because you don't get paid for the hours you work. You do get paid for the value you add to the marketplace. And you're giving some some valuable action steps of what traction people can start doing. Yeah in order to produce income in, in their business. And there's a, there's a thing you can we can put up on the screen. It's called the Pareto Principle, P-A-R-E-T-O, I believe. And it's the 80-20 deal. So you want to spend 80% of your time doing the 20% of the things that make you the most money or generate the most revenue. You want to spend 80% of your time doing those 20% of activities that can help you make the most. So as far as an action item for everybody, think about your life right now. Go ahead and jot down all the things you're going to do today as it relates to work. And yeah. jot down all the things you did yesterday. And jot down all the things you're going to do tomorrow. And circle the things that only you can do. Yeah. Now, now those are the items you have to keep doing. But the items that are not circled, those are ones maybe you could... Now, look at those ones you circled and say, you know, could I train someone to do this? And if the answer is yes, then that's what you need to focus on right now is training someone else to do that. And pretty soon you can begin to scale your business. And that's how it works. That's, that's basically the, the, the system there.